Diamonds on my neck. I like boarding jets. I like morning sex. But nothing in this world. So, what's up, YouTube? And before we get started, hold on. I look a mess. My hair is a mess because I just woke up from a nap. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, and comment down below and follow us on my social media. Now, today, we are on a serious topic lip gloss. Now, oh, let me show you. Let me show you. I am the lip gloss professional, and everybody knows the Kung Fu Kamaya. You have chapped lips, okay? Okay, I have like 20 some lip glosses, and like, I'm just addicted to collecting lip gloss. I, I know all of the textures, all of the information about them, and today I'm just going to lay it down. Good lip glosses, bad lip glosses, sticky, rough, all of that. So, let's get into this video. Now first, you have all types of lip glosses. For example, the dollar store lip gloss. You have the Rogers dropped my lip gloss on. Okay, like I was saying, you have the dollar store lip gloss. You have the hair store lip gloss. And then you have more of the expensive side, which is the, um, oh, here it is. The Victoria's Secret lip glosses. Okay, so I get my lip glosses from the hair store. All of my hair store lip glosses. Now, I don't care what anybody says, the hair store have the most the most best lip glosses ever. They're like a dollar, two dollars, you know. And like I don't care if they are cheap, they're still really good. Now we're gonna talk about the different textures of lip gloss. People need to know this. Cause when people give me sticky lip glosses, you will not see me put them on because they are sticky. Okay. For example, let's go on my little pouch. Okay. Okay. So this. This is a dollar store lip gloss. Oh, well, we're gonna get this in a second. But this is a dollar store lip gloss. This is really sticky. I used to wear this last year because like, you know, I didn't have any lip gloss, so I thought this was like the best lip gloss. This is extremely sticky. And let me show you. Okay. First of all, it has nice glitters in it. But like imagine all this stickiness on your lips. You trying to talk, read to the class, and your lips just yes, all of that. Uh, we don't do sticky lip glosses, but I have it because sometimes, well, I still have it is because, you know, I don't throw away lip gloss. Lip gloss doesn't, like, deserve to get thrown away, but I, I don't use this. This is not going to get used anymore. Next, you have, so it's sticky, thick, and then it's the thin, and then you have the ones in the middle. That's, that's just right. So, um, that's really my only sticky lip gloss. Now, on to the thick lip gloss. Okay. So here's one of my thick lip glosses. From Family Dollar was a dollar. Now, I'm not saying Family Dollar is, you know, not good. You can get your lip glosses for Family Dollar because Family Dollar got some good lip glosses. Like, they have a clear red one. You know, they have some really good lip glosses. Like, this is... If I drop one of these again. Like, I have this on right now. See? Really good. But, like, the problem is... The problem is... It is really thick. Like... Let me show you how thick this is. So you see how the bubble does not move. Do you do you see that? See how that bubble's not moving? Compared to this lip gloss, you see how the bubble moves automatically. Automatically, yes. See that? See that the bubble's moving? Okay, let's compare and contrast. Bubbles upside down. Okay, so this is extreme. You see this? See how that's moving? Yes. This this bubble is not moving. If your bubble is not moving, that is a really thick lip gloss. This is a really thick lip gloss. Look at that. This is very this is very sticky and thick. This is not sticky. It's just super thick. Like look, put a little bit of this in my arm. Look, you see how hard I gotta press to get some lip gloss out. Look at that. Now let's. Boom, ain't move. 
ain't nothing move. So I don't have a problem with that, but hold on. I don't have a problem with that lip gloss is lip gloss, but still, it's still super thick. And yes. So now, so it's like I said, sticky, thick, thin, and medium. So we're gonna work on the thin lip glosses. I like thin lip glosses, but I don't want them too thin. You know, I don't want it too thin. A thin, ooh, thin. A thin lip gloss is the max. This is a thin. Oh no, wait no. This is not thin. Hold on, wait. I have something better. This RK Lip Boy. This is my favorite. I have three of these. This is a nice thin lip gloss that isn't too thin isn't too like it's not thick at all it's just like it's not too thin to where like as you talk it drips down your lip no it's not that thin but it's still a nice thin lip gloss that's good it's minty see the bubble movie yes it's nice it's it, it gets your lips what they need to get it's it does it treats them and all of that see that i love the tube love the packaging it's a really good lip gloss Moving on to our middle lip glosses. Middle lip glosses would be more of the max. Um, what's another middle lip gloss? Um, this. The Broadway lip glosses to me are a medium lip gloss. Now I could be wrong, y'all can have your opinion, but to me, uh, a middle lip gloss would be my Broadway lip glosses. Um, yeah, oh. This, if you guys had this, this is a really thin lip gloss. It doesn't drip off your lips, but it's really thin. And it's still really good. Like, I really do love this lip gloss. This is my favorite. It's $10 a piece. I got two of them. But yes, this is medium. Like, this is the medium texture lip glosses. I have the mint oil. All of the Broadways, to me, are medium, nice. They're, they're thick, but then thin at the same time. They're all really good. Now, moving on to different colors and like not textures, but like different like like glitters and shimmers and stuff. So, I have two red colored lip gloss. As you see, this is transparent, and this it, it looks opaque. We're gonna get onto this, but we're gonna start. I love my red lip glosses because this is transparent. It makes your lips like pink a little bit, but like. They make your lips juicy basically and this, this this will go into like the thicker like this is a thicker lip gloss but like you don't need a lot even if you do add a lot your lips are still not gonna be bloodshot red like this is this still shows up on your lips that's clear i love this just got this one this weekend not just see it's ombre darker down here it gets like this does not show up on your lips like hold on let me show you okay so i put it on my bottom lip you see how nice and juicy it is yes i only i only put a little bit on and you see it's it's red and um add a clear lip gloss to it it's nice and juicy now this will be on the more thicker side of the lip glosses okay and now with this lip gloss if you do add a lot your lips will be red like they will look like a red lipstick Hold on, let me fix it. Okay, that's better. More on my face. Okay, yes, if you add a lot of that, your lips will be red. Like, they will be red. But if you add a lot of this, it's not just going to get juicier and juicier, and then it's going to start running out your lips. Next, we have glitter lip glosses. Now, this is one of my favorite glitter lip glosses. My friend Ginger gave me this. Okay, and so, um, yes, now with this lip gloss, you can feel like when you rub your lips together, you can feel um, the glitters on there. So I sometimes wear this by itself, but then I also sometimes compare it with a thinner lip gloss, this, or I will pair it with this since this is a thin lip gloss. These two together are really good. So if you don't like the feeling of the glitter stuff on your lips, don't buy it. This is also a glitter lip gloss. And, um, you know, it's clear. You don't need a lot. You need a little bit. If you do add a lot, 
as you keep on adding it, the color will eventually pop up. But um, you know, it it's still really good. But yes, that's glitter. I only have two glitter glosses, and then okay, so now we're gonna work on um, what is there else to work on? Because I think I ex I think I explained everything. Oh, the different brands. We're gonna do that. Okay, so in my collection, I have like through four or five different brands. I have the RK brand. I have the NK makeup brand. I have the LA colors. I have the Max brand. I have Magic Collection brand. I have Broadway and Victoria's Secret. I think that's why I didn't have Carmax. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna the NKs are this. Oh, don't mind my nails. They look ugly. They this. And if you can't see the RK, wait, did I say NK? Then this is RK. Yes, you can see the RK on there better. This is RK by Kiss. RK is a really good company. People come, but people prefer RK than NK. I don't, I don't see the difference except for this with RK. This is RK is like to me best seller because every girl has this. Like if you don't have this, I'm very surprised. Like you need to go get it. It's very good. I have three of them, like I said, but yeah, that's RK. And then you have NK, and I have now. I used to, so yeah, so I used to have. So all of these come in a collection. So this collection is strawberry, cherry, and bubblegum, and they all have this little silver top. And I used to have strawberry and cherry, but cherry right now, so I threw it away. But um yes, and then these two are the are are in the collection. All I'm missing is the Oregon one, like this that looks like this. And then yes, the collection will be done. But yes, that is that that one, that that is NK makeup, and this is RK by Ruby Kiss. Well, no, RK by Kiss. The RK stands for Ruby Kiss. The NK stands for um Nika. Oh wait, I don't know what NK stands for. Oh wait. Nick K. Okay? I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, right there, uh, it won't focus, but it's Nick K. Okay? Yes, but um, yeah, this right here is also crystal gloss, it's part of RK. So, you know, you see the difference, like you see, um, all of these are RK, but they all come in a different collection. Like, this is a collection. This comes in a transparent red and a transparent pink. So, the red one is called Love, and the pink one is called Mermaid. And I don't have them because I don't know where, where to get them. But as you see, it's only... Oh, and this one comes with a pink one. Like, a clear pink one. Yes, and this one, Crystal Gloss, just has all types of colors, glitters, shimmers, clear, all of that. They just come in everything. And then yes, and then my next brand is Max. I don't know if Max comes in a different like color, but it's clear. And then you have the Magic Collection, and I don't know. Oh yeah, this does come. It, this comes in um silver, and then that's all I know of of the Magic Collection. And then you have your Dollar Store lip glosses, which are still really good. This one's really good. This one, this one is good. It smells really good. Like, it's just too sticky and thick at the same time. Like, I can do sticky and thin, but if it's sticky and thick, I can't really do it. And then you have um, the expensive Victoria's Secret. These was $10 a piece. This was 5 And these are all really good. This one is a little thick. But um, I know it's pink, but it doesn't show up pink. And then you have your Broadway. Wait a minute. Okay. And then you have your Broadway lip glosses, which is this. And, oh wait. Which is this and this. And these are, uh, this is the collection right here. I finally got the collection because I used to just have these two. And I found the green one. The green one's really good. And these all have different textures like this. Ooh. The green one is mint and it's like a little bit thinner. But like yeah. And um and the uh the last thing we're gonna work on is scent. Okay, you don't wanna get a stinky lip gloss. If you get a stinky lip gloss, you're probably not gonna wear it because it has a bad taste and it stinks. The only stinky lip gloss that I have is um well 
almost two of them. It's coconut oil. And that's because I don't like coconut. I don't like the smell of coconut. But in my head, I thought this was cocoa. Like chocolate cocoa. Because it's brown. Yeah, so I got it. And I just had noticed that it said coconut oil. But it's still really good. Like I always use in this. And then the Max. The Max, like... It says that it uses like grapeseed oil and it said it used fragrance, but it's not a good fragrance. It does, it stinks, but I still use it. The rest of these don't stink. Like the rest of them don't stink. Um, the rest of them smell really good. I'm really into rose hip, that scent of rose hip. So um yeah, I love rose hip scents. If you couldn't tell by um I have by this, see that? This is rose hip. And yeah. But I'm at the end of the video here. Hopefully you learned something about lip gloss. And please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And um comment some questions if you if I didn't answer them here. Comment some questions about lip glosses and I'll let you know because I know stuff about lip gloss. Um see ya tomorrow. Peace.